It is Well of Worship Fellowship. Uh, today is the 8th of July, 2024. It's Monday. Monday means we do Q&A or Q&R, if you like. Q&R is really a session where we attempt questions from life, uh, generally from the Bible, religion, prophecy, faith, God. You name it, we attempt. I say attempt because we may not necessarily have all the answers. Sometimes the attempt is just follow-up questions or a series of questions to provoke your own thinking, and then God continues to reveal that to you. So, yeah, here we are again. If you have a question, please send it to us. If you are listening to this on YouTube, uh, the phone number is displayed somewhere on the screen. If somebody forwarded this audio to you, you can send us your question through that audio. But whatever we do here, we record and upload to YouTube. Our YouTube channel is IT Swell of Worship Fellowship. If you search for that, you should be able to see all the content that we record here. Yeah, so it's Monday again. We have a follow-up question from our usual suspect, Peter. Um, last, last week, we discussed free will, uh, predestination, and such like. And so Peter has a follow-up question, this time from Jeremiah, about the same. We agreed that we are free will beings in spite of being created. Uh, because we have a purpose here, and that purpose is not predetermined. So Peter is now asking a follow-up question from Jeremiah 1.5, that famous, that famous verse. Before I formed you in, in, the womb, in the womb of your mother, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nation. So in light of such declaration, how then am I free in this context of Jeremiah? If God knew me, if he set me apart, appointed me as a prophet, so how then can I be a free, a free will being in light of that? Yeah, that's the follow-up question. Isaiah, do you want to answer that quickly? Yeah. I, I, I also have another follow-up question. May I? Sure. About the same, I hope. No, about God is just. Okay, you Our previous, Yes. Hmm. Yes. Uh, during when we studied um, the justice of God or God, who is just, we discover that this God who is just is sovereign. And one of the means of, of executing justice is to allow both good and evil to exercise themselves uninterrupted in this space. My question stems then from that assertion in light of there is no witchcraft against Israel. How then is justice uh, prevailing here in, in that context where there is no dogo <laughs> against Israel? Yet dogo and 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 not dogo must exercise themselves to the fullest. The God who is just would, uh, would let the dogo take, or witchcraft, take its own stance to its fullest. Th that's my question. Okay. That's from the series we've been doing. Hmm. Okay, Isaiah? Yeah. Hey, this 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 being of Jeremiah, who knew, who was known by God before he was formed, how free is he to exercise his free will and set apart? Yeah, you the you you to respond to that question. I think we should uh, look at it from the angle of the characters in that in that verse. The the first character, of course, the dominant one is uh, is God, and then the other one is Jeremiah. But I'd like to begin with Jeremiah and uh, and ask the question: at uh, at what point did Jeremiah become a prophet and and start start the vocation of uh, of prophecy? At, at what point? Because that question is, is important to, 
to tell the how free Jeremiah was. Okay. And uh, for you to understand that, that you need also to borrow the story of Jonah that uh, God, God sends him to, uh, to Nineveh and he decides to go to, to Tarsus. And indeed he goes. So uh, I am not interested in the rest of the story. That will be for another day. I'm using Jonah as an example. And uh, what I'm driving at is to make sure that we understand that uh, there is there is still free will, even within the the order of uh, of God. Uh, you can choose to do otherwise. So I am mentioning these examples to make sure that we understand that uh, the will of God, there is, there is the will of God. It is, and he always communicates it, but we are free to, to do that will or not to do it. And indeed, often we have, uh, we have done our will because we are free will beings that we cannot contest. Now, the reason as why I'm telling you this is uh, to make sure that we understand that uh, putting aside what God knew, uh, that aside, we just need to try and imagine the life of Jeremiah growing up as a young man at the age of, uh, what was Jeremiah doing at the age of 13? What was Jeremiah doing at uh, the age of 18? What was he doing in his 20s, 30s? And by the time we get to see him as a prophet, he's at least uh, in his late 40s. That is when we get to see him on the scene as a prophet. As, as a prophet. Unfortunately, we don't have a record of, uh, of uh, the first uh, 25, 35 years of Jeremiah. But we can imagine that uh, as an individual, he was not operating within the the prophecy that says that I knew you before I formed you into the womb of your mother. He was making his free free will choices, and uh, he chose to be a prophet. It is very important for us to understand that Jeremiah had uh, alternatives. There were other vocations, but uh, he chose to be a prophet. It was not something that he was doing against his will. It was something uh, from which he drew satisfaction in doing. And for him, prophecy and being a prophet was his purpose, and uh, he served that. And uh, you can tell that uh, it was his purpose, given the persecution, because he is one of the uh, most suffering prophets in the Old Testament. At a certain point, he, he was not only exiled to Egypt, but he was also boiled. Something close to that of uh, John the Revelator, uh, such an experience. So for him, it was a calling. He, he always went at loggerheads with uh, the kings of Israel and those of Judah. And also, he, he was also engaging in fights with uh, with fellow prophets. So the life of Jeremiah was not an easy one. And uh, he didn't quit. He he served in that prophetic office until, until he died. So if you ask Jeremiah, I mean minus God, take God out of the picture, because that is the fact that is the, the other character in the in, in the in the verse, Jeremiah chapter one, verse five. If you ask Jeremiah, you will uh, um, you will understand that uh, uh, for him prophecy was was his purpose. Well, it could be conventionally it could be addressed as a, as a calling, but uh, for for Jeremiah, it was something that he was doing willingly. 
so in other words, the point I'm trying to make here is that uh, prophecy might have been a call by God, as far as God is concerned. But for Jeremiah, it was something that uh, he could do with ease. And for him, it was something that he had come to, to serve. In essence, therefore, it was uh, it was free will. It was it was free will. Now, we turn now to the to, to the to, to, to the other character in the verse. When you read Jeremiah five, uh, the the text <laughs> Jeremiah five one five. The text, oh, the yes, the one five. The text says that before I formed you in the womb, I knew you, and before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you a prophet to, to the nations. Now there are there are three acts of God upon the life of Jeremiah. Actually, four. One, I formed you. Two, I knew you. Three, I consecrated you. Four, I appointed you. I, I, I appointed you. Now, those, 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 those are the four, are the four uh, elements in in this verse, as far as uh, uh, God is, is 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 concerned. Now, now, the dominant act of all of these is uh is the is the i knew you that is close to our our understanding of the will now last time when we were responding to this question we said that uh the omniscience of god has nothing to do with uh influencing or even impacting or has no impact on your on your free will it is important for us to understand that uh God knowing that uh, Jeremiah would be would pursue the purpose of prophecy and being a prophet, that had nothing to do with him. Therefore, predetermining what Jeremiah would 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 would, would pursue, and that is because of the first act that he he mentions the I formed you. And again, last time we are here, and I and I said that uh, God does not create purposes. All he creates formed. I formed you. When when God was forming Jeremiah, he formed within Jeremiah the ability. And it was upon a conscious and unintelligent Jeremiah to direct the ability and the potentials in him uh, towards what would give him satisfaction. So I formed you. God formed in Jeremiah all those abilities. He could even be a scientist if he wanted. He could even be another thing if he wanted. Uh, because those abilities are in him, information. When God formed Jeremiah, he put all those potentials in him. But because of the free will of Jeremiah, out of all those alternatives and possibilities, he decided that he was going to pursue being a prophet, and and God had nothing to do to do with that. He had nothing to do with that. It was when Jeremiah uh, pursued uh, prophecy that God appointed appointed him. The appointment here is for his own is is a theological appointment. Because Jeremiah was not the only prophet. There were many other prophets, both uh, those who worshipped the same God that Jeremiah was worshipped, and other prophets who did not worship this God. So the appointment here is theological. Uh, because uh, it is not the, 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 the office of prophecy and the ability to, to be a prophet to be a prophet is not only in those who worship God, but even those who do not worship God can be prophets at the other side. So the appointment is that I appointed you to be mine. So I recognized you, I took you on. Uh, and uh, I'm sorry, let me use this term. I I took I took advantage of your of your purpose, or I benefited from your your purpose and your your choice of that. So when you look at this verse, really, there, 
there there is nothing like god knowing has therefore predetermined the 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 free will of uh, of jeremiah there's nothing like that and these things actually we addressed last time uh but perhaps it is important that we say these things again and again for people to understand we would like to understand that the people to understand that the christian god does not uh predetermine our purposes and our free will uh, at creation no he doesn't at creation what god does is to create potential is to create abilities and then when he creates those abilities he sends us into into the earth it is also important for us to understand that those abilities are not are not are not restricted that is why for instance your body your body is is an adaptive machine your body adapts to each and everything with time hence your abilities hence your talents you might not uh, do things as other people do but you can do what other people do at least to a certain extent because there's 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 that ability in you there's that ability in you that's why the the the, the english philosophy has said that uh, training is it training or practice makes perfect i i, I guess it is it is perfect practice but, mm -hmm. yes yes but i i but there is nothing like god has predetermined anything for you so you should really excuse him from from that because I think the next stage after saying he has predetermined is to blame him for our failures to fulfill those things. That is what we are after. That is what the human mm. being is after. Now, God, if you had not destined me to be, I don't know what, now I would not uh -huh. be suffering like this. Then later you'll hear them say, I was born in a woman's body, but I am a man. <laughs> so that, all that nonsense thrives from those arguments. <laughs> okay, Peter, are you happy? Hello. Yes, sir. Okay, so this appointment and consecration, which this verse mentions, did not happen pre, but they happened post by by God riding on them, on uh, by God riding on them. Have I, have I understood right? Yes, yes, it is the appointment and consecration is after you are pursued. You are you are appointed and consecrated after you have established your purpose. That's when you are appointed. And that is if your purpose is serving the will of God. So if your purpose is serving the will of God and serving the kingdom of God, then you are appointed and, and, and consecrated for that. But it is not that uh, from there because god is not going to decide for you he knows what you will eventually decide that is the omniscience i knew i knew you before i formed you he knows but he's not going to interrupt the process he's not so the consecration and appointment comes comes after you have uh, pursued your purpose you have chosen you have used your free will to choose and if what you've chosen serves his 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 will and his kingdom then therefore you are recognized and accepted as one of his hence the consecration and the appointment yeah. so god is also stuck in a way he has to wait for you to <laughs> exactly that is that is in fact one of for god for god 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 committed i don't know uh, my english is limited you forgive me but god committed suicide by creating a human being Mm. In fact, Musumba. Mm. Yeah, uh, thank you, uh, thank you. I just I wanted to, uh, from your statement and from your thorough explanation, I I, I was also thinking that God, uh, the, we, we've been in the habit of praying for spouses. People people pray for married partners. People pray for husbands, and people pray for 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 wives. And and I was asking, ha. Huh, how if 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 God who created a volitional being starts to to choose wives or husbands for others, how could then that be handled? <laughs> uh, there's uh, there's uh, I am sorry I'm going to take this a little bit far perhaps to some of you, but let me let me also say this. Eh? 
it is it is blasphemy to to ask god to find you a spouse Hey. Yes. 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 Why? yes. 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 Let me say that again. Dear Christians and all of you Bible believers, it is blasphemous to say that God found me a spouse or to pray to God to find you a spouse. Because there are there are issues that you can involve I, most of you work for corporate bodies right yes and and their management levels right yes at what at what point at what point does the ceo deal with the cleaner or the cook is there any point that these two will ever meet Mm -hmm. you now understand eh? the reason as to why they will never meet it is because of the management levels the system dictates that the cook and all their needs the clean and all their needs are served in the structure and they do not need to call the CEO They just can't. So if a cleaner knocked on the office of the CEO and presented the case of a broken broom to the CEO and the CEO involved himself in that affair, Then there is a problem with the CEO, there is a problem with the system, there is a problem with the cleaner, there is the problem with the structure, everything is broken down. Now, gentlemen and ladies, God created you with a heart for emotions, with a head for the logic and thinking with the, with functional genitals wired and placed in an electric body with all the chemistry that is all that you would need God for and you have it and then he has created men and women wherever you are that if you're a man, they are women. If you're a lady, they are men. So you go and find yourself a spouse. Please do not ask God to find you a spouse. Do not, do not, do not offend God, tasking him, okay, to do what you can do. Because the role of God, like I've already said here, the role of God in our lives is to do what we cannot do. Let me say that again. The role of God in our lives is to do what we cannot do. And that is, that is, that is the only point when we invoke him into the affairs of our lives. When we cannot. So it is blasphemy to ask God for, in fact, I have not seen any verse in the Bible. I have read the Bible seven times from Genesis to, to Revelation. I have not met at least a verse that I need to dig for its background, its grammatical structure and its context, you know, its genre, etc. I have not found a verse that says that God finds for someone a spouse. Huh? About Hosea, who was asked to marry a prostitute, what, what was that? 
you see, now now you know when God finds your spouse. He finds who? Jethro, have you gone? I'm here. Mm -hmm. the, the only incident where God found someone a spouse, he, he, he found a prostitute. <laughs> so we know that God was not looking for a spouse. God was mm -hmm. after another subject matter. In other words, he was using this experience of Jose and the, and, and the prostitute ah, yeah. as a ah, teaching yeah. aid. Ah, yeah. so, so, so the book of Hosea is not about God's finding spouses for others. No, no. Ah, yeah. It's not about ah, yeah. that. It is the story of Israel and it's God. And uh, how Israel has become a prostitute and God is consistently a faithful man. Hosea is representing the, Hosea is representing the faithfulness of God. The, uh, Homer, is she called Homer? Is representing... Gomer, Gomer, Gomer. Yes. Yes, she's representing the unfaithfulness of Israel. It's not about God finding a spouse for Hosea. The other verse is in, is in the book of wisdom. It is in the book of what? It's wisdom. One of the wisdom books that's Proverbs. And it says, he who finds. It, the verse does not say that he who God finds a spouse for. No, the mantle is not on God. The mantle is on you. He who finds a wife finds a good thing. So it is you to find a spouse for yourself. That's not God's business. Stop invoking the CEO into petty matters. You are, you are, you are, you are disrespecting him. You are blaspheming him. You are turning him into an idol. God is not micromanaging your life. He has put everything in place. This is why I keep teaching about divine providence, reminding people that there are things that you shouldn't be praying for the way you pray for them. Money. Yes. So, so you can't pray for money. You cannot pray for money. You cannot. The God, God has no bank of Uganda if you're in Uganda and has no K, 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 Kenya, Kenya bank or wherever you are. There is no Federal Reserve Bank where the, where the dollars are. So, so, so let us stop these things. Okay? You go and find a spouse. Then after you found one, you look for the knowledge, okay? How to live with the spouse. Because most of us do not know how to live with each other and all we are doing, we are praying. That is magic, that is witchcraft. You have to do what you have to do, okay? And then God will do what he has to do. That is what we call the covenant relationship. That is what the covenant is about. The idea of the covenant, I hear you brag about the new covenant, but the idea of the covenant is God meeting man, God doing what man cannot do, and man doing what he can do. But the problem, we are in a covenant relationship with God, and we are not doing what we can do and what we ought to be doing, and we are praying about it. Why are you praying about what you should be doing? Okay, if you prayed for a spouse, and God in that imaginary world gave you that spouse, and that spouse turned out evil, who is to blame? God gave me a snake, yet I asked for a fish. Genesis chapter 3. Because the mythology of Genesis chapter 3, that, that God made man sleep, and out of him he made a rib. When things went, went wrong, and it was the carelessness of Adam, who was not in charge of, of his wife. When things went wrong, and God tried to hold Adam accountable, Adam told God face off, it is the woman that you gave me. 
so in the entire story of the fall, Adam was not to blame, the snake was not to blame, Eve was not to blame, it was God to blame. Why? Because it was God who created the tree. It was God who created the fruit. It was God who created Adam. It was God who created Eve from the so-called rib of Adam. Okay? So when things went wrong, it was only God to blame. This world and people in this world are about and after blaming God. That is why you make those prayers, because you want to blame God at the end of the day. And those who will not quit these abusive marriages will stay in abusive marriages for God. So who is abusing? Why are you suffering? Why are you suffering in that marriage? Because of who? Of God. Who is to blame? God. God hates divorce. Uh-huh. God. So you die in a marriage and you call yourself a, 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 a marital matter. But you see, Christianity has no matters. Christianity only has the cross. But people want to blame God. Why? Because I prayed for this man from God. I prayed for this woman from God. If this woman misbehaves, it is God. There are people who need to go and see a counselor and you have not taken them to see that professional counselor to talk about their, 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 their psychology. You are praying. You are just praying. Then later when things fall apart, it is good. And then you start, you, start, you start reading the Bible in a wrong way. Everything happens for a purpose. Which purpose? Everything happens for the good of those who believe. Now, where is the goodness? <laughs> where is the goodness? You are reading the verse out of its context. You messed up things. Instead of knowing what you want, what kind of person you are, what kind of person you can live with, you only knelt down and started praying. And then you started coming up with imaginary uh, uh, signs. The, the, the brother who will first greet me, the one who will give me a hanky. They, that, they, that is, but but you are, those stories are in your head. They are not heaven made. You and your pastor, you are man of God or woman of God, you are both stupid. And you are going, because the Bible says when a blind man leads another blind man, they will both fall in the pit. So perhaps your pastor cannot even tell you this because they also are as, as stupid as you are. I'm sorry to use the term stupid. Or, or is ignorant better? It is more politically correct. Okay, fine. So because both of you are ignorant, you are, you are praying for a spouse, sister. Who are you? What kind of person are you? Number one. Number two. Then, after knowing who you are, what kind of man would you want? You don't have to pray, go and find that man. He's out there. Then, after you found your man, then you can pray for protection. You can't protect yourself against diseases, pray. You can't protect yourself against demons, pray. Pray for the things that you cannot do. Do the things that you have to do and you can't do. Because God, in, in his divine providence, has provided for all that, that, that you need. So let, we should stop seducing God into, into our problems so that we can blame him when we fail. It is blasphemy. I insist. Thank you, Manred. Okay, thank you. Uh, Peter, I think you're happy again. If not, please make some noise. Make noise. You had a follow-up question about the sovereignty of God. Do you remember that, Isa? He asked whether God intervening in a certain war situation. That is not going against who he is. I thought you should let the evil powers and the good fight it out until 
uh, Victor is found. Remember that that question from Peter. Yes, but you see the, the verse the verse that he used and he referenced is that uh, there is no witchcraft against Israel. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. Uh, and then, but you see, uh, he was like saying that God has uh, uh, has against the will of the Israelites and against the will of witchcraft protected Israel from witchcraft. That is not what the text says. Mm -hmm. uh, the justice of God there in the witchcraft thing communicates that uh, Israelites have willingly believed this God and they have placed themselves willingly under the charge of this God. It is therefore fair not to be attacked, okay, against their will under the charge of this God. In other words, the, the attack that is always invoked against them, that is witchcraft, that cannot so that's what the text says. There is no witchcraft against those who believe in God. But whoever is in God and they are not believers, regardless of how many times they attend church services, witchcraft will strike. That is the justice. In the same way, those who are under the charge of Satan, God, God Almighty cannot drag them out out, out, out of the charge of Satan. That is divine justice again. So, 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 gentlemen, and, and I hope I've just answered the question, but, 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 Father, you Christians also need to understand that uh, before you said there is no witchcraft against me, the believer, please confirm whether you are a believer. <laughs> mm. Yes, please confirm because there are there are two powers that know who a believer is. The first is God Himself, the second is Satan. And I guess the third is you the believer. So before you say there is no witchcraft, and before you start kicking those calabashes and burning them, etc., et confirm that you're a believer. Because certain guys in the book of Acts, I think it's chapter 19, tried that. And they were not believers. But you see, they were mentioning the name of Jesus. And they were particular. They didn't just want any Jesus. They were talking about the true Jesus and they were casting out demons saying, we command you to live in the name of the Jesus that Paul preaches. Now, is it, wasn't the, the, the Jesus of Paul the, the legit Jesus? <laughs> he was. Mm. Hey, but you see, Satan told them, well, Jesus I know. And Paul, I know. What does that mean? Jesus, God himself, I know. Paul, the real believer, I know. But who are you? You are not Jesus. Neither do you even qualify to be believer. Believers like Paul is. So for you, you are my meat today. So, so, so moderator, I use the question of, of, of Brother Peter to warn all of us that sometimes you need to run away for your life. And gentlemen, let me tell you this. It is okay to run away from Satan if you get a gap. And go and prepare to face him when you believe. But this business of standing before the devil when you are not even sure. And, and, and I'm not talking about morality. 
because many people think that if you 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 committed adultery last night or you were fornicated last night or you stole something you cannot rebuke the devil i would like to inform you ladies and gentlemen you can rebuke the devil it is about a believer because in those delivery services they used to to ask us if you are you are involved in some kind of sin we are going to pray for the demoniac Please don't join us. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't join us because, uh, and, and, and indeed Satan could take that advantage. And I hope Nicholas has experienced that. Where, where the demon starts when you're praying and then and then the, 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 the victim. Of course, those are spirits speaking through the victim. Mm -hmm. you, you, Isaiah, you're also praying, yet you are with... Uh, what lady should I mention that I was with last night? Ab. Uh huh. Yet Ab is going to set fire. Yet you are with Ab last night. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> and, and then that one walks out. <laughs> that is how demons need to discourage prayer prayer warriors. So before going to pray for these demon possessed people, you could say, please, you fast for the whole week. Uh, uh, sanctify yourself. Come here when you don't have any sin. It is the, it is the same thing that the Mugoyas do when they are going to the Holy, to do Holy Communion in their church. Okay, sanctify. I don't know about Pastor John. I don't know who he is. So sanctify yourselves, etc. Gentlemen, whether you sanctify yourself and you are morally upright, the demon will not leave if you are not a believer in Jesus. Why? Because there are many morally upright atheists. Did you hear that? Mm. Yes, there are many morally upright non-believers. So demons do not live because you are morally upright. Witchcraft will not excuse you because you are morally upright. In fact, it is the very reason that, that, that witchcraft should actually attack you. You are a good person. But demons do not live because you are good. Demons and witchcraft is rebuked because you believe in Jesus Christ. Do you believe Jesus Christ? Do even people understand what it means to believe in Jesus Christ? One, two, do they even understand who Jesus Christ is? Because these things are very important. So moderator, it is fair for us to sit down and investigate whether we are actually believers or just religious people who are after behaving right and behaving good. Because in the latter category, demons will not, they will not leave, they will attack and they will be with you comfortably. Thank you, moderator. Others. All right. Thank you. Yeah, so in the next one hour, I'd like us to tackle a uh, topic we tackled briefly last week, but because of time we didn't finish. I'd like us to talk about fatherhood. There's a, there's some statistics that were shared last week going around social media. I'm sure you saw them. I think they were from the census that was just concluded. I hope, I hope they were anyway. But anyway, uh, they were saying that only five percent of fathers are involved in their children's lives. Of course, we don't know what sort of questions they asked. We don't know what even the extent of the involvement means. But well, we don't have to know. We can still discuss this. So, and we were just asking ourselves, really, what does it mean to be an involved father? Because in the modern generation, fatherhood is being redefined. Uh, these days, uh, previously, fathers would go hunting, you know. Mothers would stay home, take care of the family, take care of the, the home, make it homely. When the guy returns returns from work, I mean, he finds a, a comfortable environment for him to stay. Now the mothers have gone into the workplace. So essentially, we go home with our wives. We live in the morning. Together, we sit in the traffic. She goes to her office. I go to my office. In the evening, we get into the same car, return home, both tired from a long day at work. 
Uh, some even have the audacity to ask, now you want me to cook? Are we all coming from Kampala? What do you, what do you want me to do? And so on and so forth. Anyway, but this particular question was involving the, the children specifically. And Nicholas, my brother, you're the latest parent we have on this call. Are you there? So we just want to ask ourselves, what does it mean to be an involved father? Because we know many fathers just buy the pay school fees, they pay rent if they're renting, or they build a home, buy a car. This kind of material needs of the family. And that's it. In fact, when the woman leaves, they normally say, Nay um kazu madem wabuchimu. Bachi, you know, and so on and so forth. All, all, all the children when they grow up and they're like, but our father were not close to him. They're like never na must see nature siba wa day. You know, I've given you everything. Yeah, so Nicholas, you, are, you want to start from there. So what does it mean to be an involved father in your children's lives? Uh, being a father mm. does not necessarily mean uh, producing the children. <clears throat> I was going to use a crude phrase. <clears throat> I remember that I'm a bishop, so I had to withdraw. In my mind, some 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 men, after they have had their relationships with their wives or women, the baganda bagam, but bagalakumanya. But even if you buy a car, you buy land, you do what anybody can do that. We have charity organizations. We have children who have been picked on streets. We have orphanages. We have programs for the poor. They cannot substitute a father. A father is one who is present, takes time to scold the children. Children love that. When they are at school, they can say, my father is tough. Hey, you just joke with my father. Many times in Africa, the women interrupt the role of a father. As, as you finish talking to the children, they take the children aside and say, your father is bad. He doesn't love you, but I'm going to be here. I'll be by your side. So the children take chastening as a hate for them. But even after that, they will appreciate when you've been present. Uh, recently, I had a discussion with a younger man who told me that he discovered that his father was right after his father had died. He grew up hating the father because of the negative words the mother used to talk to him. The mother would tell him, you know, your father has other women. He doesn't love us. That's why whenever he comes back, he's tough. And so many years, this young man is even married. He realizes that, oh, my father used to love me. When he discovers that what he's doing his children, the wife is doing what his mother did to him. So a father must be present, create time to play with the children, scold them, cane them, buy gifts, do some spoiling a little bit. That is a father. I, I want to tell you one time I attended a graduation party of a friend. We were together in McCain University. She was a very small girl. So she used to call me daddy. Because from yesterday when I'm a big man, very responsible in character. So the girl called me daddy, daddy. And because of that title she gave me, I would buy her some few things, spend a lot of time with her, eh, discussing work. Now, when I attended the graduation, I want to tell you this girl told the people that I was her father. And her father was present and did not mention a single word. I felt small. But afterwards, I discovered it is the mother who had piled a lot of nonsense in this graduate. That the father looked out of place. Even me right now, I'm taking care of children. 
who have fathers who don't care. So if you're here, I keep telling my brother, Peter, that even if by bad luck, this cannot come to Peter, I know he's a, a righteous man, but by, by bad luck, if we got some children outside Mary's home, he should acknowledge them, take care of them, play with them. But because of religion, people will hide as if nothing is, has happened, yet something has happened. A child grows from a slum, he as the father is a lecturer in Chambogo, the, the lecturer sends money still three because doesn't want to annoy the way they do woman. And therefore, the children will grow up thinking the Boda Boda guys are the fathers. Now, let me share my experience. For me, when my wife is pregnant, I begin talking to my child. I put my mouth on her belly and say, sweet baby, this is Papa talking. I love you very much. I can't wait to receive you. I want to introduce you to Jesus. Jesus is our father because he, had a, he does not have grandchildren. So you and I have one father called Jesus Christ. When you come, I'll tell you more about him. He's going to keep you in this room. Be happy. Kick mama, but not so much, okay? I love you. Every time I get mm. opportunity, every time I get opportunity, I do that. I take my wife for Antinento. Recently, my, by the way, if we have not told you, we just got a newborn baby who is now one week and a few days. And when I was going to nowhere, I talked to that baby. I said, my child, I'm going to nowhere, but don't come until I come back, okay? Wait for me. I want to receive you at the hospital. And one time I left here, uh, Kampala here at around eight, I reached Ginger at 11. And by, the, by one, the baby was ready to come, took them to the hospital. There were about roughly 20 plus women ready to give birth. We found others giving birth. Very many, but I was the only man around. When my wife was in that intensive pain, I could touch her back, massage it, and assure her that I'm here with her. And she delivered. And as we are working on her, I am with my baby, talking to the baby. So parenting starts as far as that. The child grows, and Peter will tell you, my children know me. They call me Papa not daddy or what, ah, papa. And the friendship I have with my children is inseparable. But it does, doesn't just begin. It starts right from the conception. And now when my wife is pregnant, you know, my wife is stubborn. I don't know your wife's ladies and gentlemen, but mine is stubborn. <laughs> but as soon as she gets pregnant, I become humble. I allow all her stupidity. I don't interrupt because I'm protecting my child. I don't insult her. I don't uh, jeer her. I, I try not to get angry for nine months. For me, nine months is a month of, uh, of fasting. Very hard period. So, uh, Chaya, that's what it means to be a father. A father has to be present. Recently, I read an article that a priest wrote that uh, fathers must be taught how to parent. I think something like that, I'm not, it's not verbatim. And the reason is that we are absent. Uh, my wife is in Ginger, I'm in Kampala. It is my wife to constantly assure the child that your father loves you, your father is, take, is working for us, is coming. Those words should be in the ears of the child. I have a child I got from a Mnyarwanda woman. Uh, Peter knows, knows, knows that child. He's in form for now. That Mnyarwanda woman, I will never forget her. In fact, if I had an opportunity to marry, I should marry Mnyarwanda. That is if she, uh, because I'm thinking maybe that's what they are. That woman kept telling the girl, because I was a student, I was studying in Makarere, your father is rich. Your father is going to come for you. Your father, you know, the girl loved me. Up to today, she's my closest child. 
she 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 is not ashamed to tell me any sense or nonsense but that doesn't come the mother plays a role of making the father available because of these economic demands that we have and the journeys that we make we are not as available in the lives of the children as the mothers so you can be present when you're absent through the mother the mother says your father loves you when you go home and the child has messed up and you scold him or her the mother assures the child that your father loves you is doing this for your good not like the other women who i know they wait and take the child aside he tells the, the child your father doesn't love you blah, blah, blah. the mother begins to alienate the father from the life of the child so, Chair, I have said so many things which are not very coherent, but I hope they have made sense. I thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's interesting to, to, to listen to your experience. Quite quite interesting, I must say. Yeah, and, and of course, that's the question you're asking. Those who have just joined in, we're asking, what does it mean to be an involved parent? I think Nicholas has given us his experience. It's not just the money and the gifts you buy, but also the time you put, build relationships. I think what I heard him say is build relationships with these people. I think many, some men would, would disagree. They would say, why do I need to be a friend to my children? I'm their parent, I'm not their friend. So yeah, yeah, and so on and so forth. But of course, we've seen experiences where, I guess maybe because of the mothers, where the children grow up, uh, the, 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 the father gives the money to the mother, and then the mother buys all these nice things, pays the fees. So the children think it's the mother doing all this. And then when the guy is old and not able to take care of himself, he run to his children and they will say, ah, you man, you never took care of us when we were young. It was always mommy. So they run to mommy and give her all the, give her all the nice things. Anyway, yeah, that's the big question we're asking ourselves. Ebi, do you want to say something about this? Thankfully, everyone here is a parent. Mugoya, I think even Mugoya. Mugoya. Yes, Sebo, I'm a parent. Yes, what does it mean to be a father? An involved father? Is it is it going for visiting day, going for antenatal, and then talking to the child in the womb, like Nicholas? Or do you just wait to be invited into whatever role that the wife has set for you? I think Nicholas has uh, provided everything that I would have added. Being involved in every aspect of a, of a child, the most important is the provision. Providing is uh, the most important role. Uh, actually, if the lady seems to be putting negative words to the kid, uh, the child is, will always see and is like, no, I don't, I don't think that's true, true, whatever the mother is saying. When he sees that you're providing, you're doing the caring, and providing whatever a child is, needs, that's enough for a child to know that now this is my father and uh, whatever the mom is telling could be wrong. Yes, Chair. Okay, Mugoya, thank you. Now, I'm going to give you a box. Switch on your microphone and speak. <laughs> Papa, thank you for giving me an opportunity to speak. Yes, what does mm. an involved father look like to you? Especially as a girl child or maybe as a wife to be? Uh, an involved father is not just involved financially. They are emotionally available. They are aware, they have interest. They have interest in, in, in you. They have interest in the children. They give the children a listening ear. They listen to them, they give them, they, they express, they, they agree to express all their emotions and, and, and their and their mindsets to these children. Because I've seen a lot of men, they provide, but they, they literally, they don't have time. 
they don't even have they don't have the patience of interacting with children they give the children this you are di you dis you're disturbing me attitude you are you are an interruption to my time you're an interruption to my space kind of energy as a child who has tried who tried um I, I I loved my dad so much and I really wanted to have a, a relationship with him. But you go to him, to you try to chat with him, then if he if he does not use condescending words, he shows you that you're in like you perceive that he's he, he shows you that you're interrupting him. Even up to now I can go there, <clears throat> put in my transport, go uh sit, tell him I've come to chat with him. You chat for like 30, 40 minutes. Then he tells you, I want to sleep, you go. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. get like mm -hmm. got to sit with you those 30 minutes that he has sat with you and, and chatted with you. This is too much energy. <laughs> Mm. This is a too much energy for Gamanga Mutufu. Either Angataina, Taina, either either Kogamanga Nanga, Simani, Chizibuchi. But I've seen this in men. Obeda Nabu, even you as a woman, you're dating this man, you're with this man. Kogamba never Mugamba, never take a cobra Mulabechi into Unga Kogamba Chicho, eh? Atebo Mugamba Muteke Mwechiche, Ainzo Kubanga may be tally interested. Bogama to about take him away, Chicho, Muchilabe, Quigamba, Munumiro, so he can get to know the things you like, what your mindset is about those things. That is how you're going to get to know me. And to be our cousin. You get. And that is the same attitude, Jebagira, Jebatora, and Kubana, T. Asolo Kumula Gala, Vuaninunga, Charlie Mutonio. Ndiyo mwana watu kama stage jinga agenda kumweta ago kube ranga. Kubango mwana agenda kuba mutunu yanga mwevaluating nga mbuze vibuzo. Nga they don't have the energy for it. <laughs> they don't have the energy. Kugamba emotional em, emotional ability ya wakube ranga available. Nga tono abela ya gale chintu nga chifuna mugu funyi. Katingala wa wali, wali interacting na we what? Alaba tafu na mungu, uleranga guwa mufu na mungu, uleranga akowa. They don't have that. They don't want, they are not interested even because they 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 belittle you and despise your own things. Rather than saying, hey, let me let me see her. Huh? What is, what what does she think about this? Kwa gama newa, nebo vya liba denga tebite gere, kekanga bibi, o ngomwana vya lese, no laga interest, no wa, no wa vyo zoku bio, no ladies of views, no interacting. Oh, man, I'm banga. You're interested in their things. Now, yeah, so look, Tan Kanaga. Oh, I'm also now interested in my thing. Then, I turn cockwood and you mirror company at Tawi. But they don't enjoy the company of their fathers because the fathers either use condescending words when it comes to the things, when it comes to them interacting with the children, or they, total, they totally show utter disinterest in in being with them. Katino mm -hmm. mwana, atu kanalo za tata ye malida, I will not even, kati ate, tata orede ye malida, atu provene ye malida, te wali, te wali chetaga. Mami ya sa wala interactinga, na ayo gena neku bintu ebi, ebi musanyisa, habana nebate gere ebi bintu bia ya gala. In that, wasa wala kumu providing ida. Na habala ganti, nse nebo mbela mungu li deo jaste kilo ya sukali, chinsa nyusa. Mwana na amanya nati wale, nebualeta kilo ya sukali, chisa, chimu, chisa nyusa omzade, omzade we. Tata, Tali muktula gachichi musanyisa. Kati netubela unetuloza ye ye malidida. Ama nyino kugena na gamba ati ye ye malidida. Kati ogeno la wanga mutufuta kueta. <laughs> so um, <laughs> men should pull up their socks. Mm. They should pull up their socks. They are mm. lagging behind way too much. Thank you, is Nancha. This... What I'm hearing is time, relationship. You're asking men to be... Even Men emotional, like genuine. their mothers, rather like no, they should have lives. genuine interest. They should have genuine interest in wanting to know and to have to to interact with their children, in wanting to know their children and interact with them. 
tubela tukula banga tuina genuine interest nga tukukakabukasi okay. thank you thank you nanche uh dom can you talk Vaya ni kamuli. Sasa vaya zuko la kamuli ni de kamuli yana. Okay, Petero, is Petero here? Petero, you went quiet on me. So after asking your questions, you disappeared. Hello. <coughs> oh, we are on parenting. I know you asked this question, but I'm sure you have an opinion. Ah, ah. Uh, uh, I just see that you know about parenting. You should be together. Maybe be a kufuba. Omani, my problem. Maybe to never be a kufuba. Kachang kachang koka being karu vidiza. If you are quick, I can. Same way, kako kwe chidi we kake. Then kola bi ensobo de we ensobo lo kufuba kona musikula kwa bi ebi. We must ensobo de kumusikula kwa nganda baka fili mu saga la kumula baka ebi. Yangebizibu. <laughs> Ne 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 nkola gana yo, yo, ya mama no ne tata e e e, e sala wonyo engeje tu parentinga mu abana fa basajjoba e gamba ya if kola gana yo sinunje la many times e kubanga ekimu kubye nazula Ebisere bisinga bachala we bazala abana abana bafuka ba mibabwe Nakati nobera awo ngo toba butobi omwana otoba mutobo okumuyita otoba mutobi okumusitulako otoba butobi bamulagira bulagizo kubuza bamulagira bulagizo kukulisayo ah ah no linda buli no linda buli nzi kyo sobode eraza wanange nkola kye sobode kyuzo nze akibuza Munyambe ko kale akola ko nsubula eh Nicolas Nicolas era kudda mu pita na bota de ko microphone yes eh pita ino ko tegeera eri itali kya kufuba mu nsi muno maybe okujja ko bulokozi na ino kufuna sente kufuba okusoma kufuba no kubera omulamu kufuba era kasitobera ne attitude nti gwe byo kufuba to byagala awo bera rede mu yo old age to get a payback wo tafuba kuteeka mu mwana wo choyagala abere obo ja ku harvesting tulabya abazadde nga abana baba abandoninga mama na agende bweru ya abana be Tata na sigalao mnyumba. Chitufu. Ela ncho gedeko. Ntiba mama bambi. Uluo kubanti bali na fiazi zaabwe. Bafu na soles mubana. Na ye tocha bando ni inga. Ela njaga kubuli la pita nti. Fuba. Nga buhuli fubo kola PhD. Nge wa fubo funo mlime chambogo. Nge wa fubo kusoma through out. Boli no kufuba okutende kwa mwa no iyo. Na eka sto gama anti nze vyo kufuba sibi ya gala. Oboli imbie kubanga luo vyo kufuba. If nze ne pita wanotuvu wao chilo sawa bidolo mosteveri de satu nya. Tucha afuba. So mganda wango kufuba. Okwe nzi kuno. Paka wango ofude. Elamu kama wabaku wado ulamu. No living alonga. Chote se mwana wo cho harvesting in the future. Okuberanga okay. bane abazadde mm. muno mu Uganda mu manyo mu zadde alimu. E yatwalo mwana wo kusoma ebweru. Na koma wonga muleted mu sajja munne 
nti ye mchala we era mchimanyi how that man ended ya fina stroke teadam paka kufa ya fachi butafuba kutende kamwana we once you ignore you know the bible says that in in the heart of the child is foolishness and only the road can drive it away kati gwoboleka foolishness nebera mu mutima in fact egamba heart mu mutima no leka foolishness eyo kubanga mama we tayagalo yogere ku mwana e umwana ba makakabuka soko we lukaminga nawe no ga ah umwana amuvuddeko you just storing up danger for yourself in the future so mukanda wange pita na balala balooza nga gwe mufube okuteeka mu bana ekintu kyo bwa tata kijja kuba rewarding tanza nicolas ngalisa koma tata nofunie mhm nzikanya ne pita mhm ebigambo ebyoku labirira abana ebyo kukuza abana ngo muzaddo musajja ya fuba era kuba kufuba kubanga omukazi yeta fuba personally uh, nzadda abana mu bakazi abasuka muomu naye nina abana bebansulira sebo tubuli de namba togamba bugambi asuka muomu toba manyi tugame ntyo ba munana oba 10 uh, si cha jukira mu wendo na hichi tangi yalina bana atenja gala kumusinga gala kumuisa <laughs> reverend chichi na ye <laughs> sina che nyongera ko you have this na ye <laughs> abana bano abana bano baba nsulira ne bakula nange bwe bakula nange bwe bayita mune ne batu omuna amalo okusoma omulaloli naba ngatana bakumaliza nenga akuze bali miyaka abiri mu na batyo rudao nenda andiko kula ba ku status ya wenga bagamba singate yali mama mama you are my all ne yabas ya suru mu wa miyaka esatu o o omuna abira na ipaka ku miyaka mukaga kati opio jaliye kati kati opita bwa gamanti bo era era bwa gamanti kufuba omusaji aba afuba ogukiraba now now abantu bonna bonna abagamanti nti nti waliwo omuzadde omusaji alwate kwa okuyingira no cultivating a engeri nempisa mu bana kiba kya kwerimba abana babera abantu nga gwe bagana bakiriza do what you can ebyo kufuba mu bireke kubanze nna abana bali myaka abiri mu mu mukaga abiri mu sanfu nebo batunulira bojukiranga bali ba baby myaka ebiri esatu ene etano kumi kirala nnyo kati sawa zino kirala nnyo kyo kyo waloza nchino kyo batademo ogenda okulaba ngasi kyo wali ogenda da ogenda okulaba ngo oli muntu mulala kati afuse bibiye so so njala kuloza nti nti ngo muzaddo musajja kola ekiri mu minzi zo ebyo kufuba ngeri ya bakazi kutu sana kuloze sa nti rute ko kufuba tuluwane tufenga tufuba ebyo kufuba na bivako nkola nkola kyensobola ero liwa ngamba nti ero e siku nyumira ne byensobola ero liwa ngamba nti fuba manya nti oyo edobozi liye mabega edobozi kazi m hmm? Kalisu, <laughs> <laughs> hey, what did you do? How did you react? I didn't react na yiga buizi. Ndi abana si ba musaji abana ba mukazi. Kati site kwa kufuba. I just do I just do what I can bila langa mbireka. You did not make any comment on that. Wasiri ka Why would I comment? 
Well, now that is the other thing. Wali wadoba si o o o o replying a kwe status no mugamba. Choya galo ku if for tio na 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 jena teka mu how when awe langa ngandi na we kugamba like wala bila dada langa it makes and it means nothing. You should have made something of that kind. Leaders, no more. Leaders, no more. Omwana mm. kati ya ubwa kuhuza ichi vuzo niti na kusaba na kutuma omuda muchi? No. O, omwana, tewali nso ngaluwa cholo oza niti aja kukubu uza in such a, dis, in such a disrespectful statement na goa mkuza. Tadja. Era aja kubela apologetic, aja, kubu, aja kunyo nyola chicha abada tegeza ni hiki. Onoramuwe uniform. And as a very hard person. Edanga omuntu eyanyiga na mutocho kweka momuntu eyanyiga na resigning but that's not how other people oroza bono yogera kufati nja kuba kundoza yangelila se ne ne dela sigamba ati ove kundoza yo kubanga era etsera bwe china atu kana okizula ntine ndoza yo sintu ko yajiva ko ekanga te wali yako ne se to soko mtu yambe muzikeko kale uruza mwezeji kazi ezi manipulating ngezo munaye nde nazivuka ko mtu yaziza se bo i'm so sorry for the heart that you're going through. Ah, nancha, 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 nancha. Put you through. Nangeke wamu zetu mla. Bob, uso koko kila. Kusonga yaba na. Pia nso bora. Pia tanta. Hmm. Baba mumpoli la. Mumpoli la sio. Ah, zindo waza. Tewandi ba dewo kubisa nia. Hmm. Kwa mama ni tata. Kubana. Uh, na hichi jia naturally kati omuzade ngo omuzade nzenga tata ok actually I, re, I recall the closest I, 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 I somehow thank COVID for, the, for, for the COVID season but also regret it but I thank it because that is one of the, the, the times I became more close to my kids when I know about the netukola project sife na Netu zimba, evi netu fena, nemba yamba mo, nemba somesa, you know, I I I made my contribution to those those kids during that COVID time. Kuvanga tuwa kedanga kubeda fena from morning to the evening. Anyway, what am I trying to say that abasajja tubeda nyo busy up and down that netu funa budebo abana um to 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 guide them to mentor them in what we want to be. Njakuwa kaka nyane. Mami opi on one side inti omwana nebo muteka muchino asobola kula na abera bibiye ne your conscience remains clear nti at least given an opportunity uh, you did what you could to give that guidance kati yebo abanga other forces influenced influenced the kid more than your forces could your input could uh, that is something that is beyond your control okay uh, but the fact is, you it will be good for a father figure to be in the life of their children, in whatever way. Uh, aba naba no, uh, eventually ba kula neba genda neba tandi But we are all the, the the starting point or reference point in what they are going to probably do mumakaga will be what they saw you or what you told them or what. Some things may change, but they will always you will always be a reference point. So you know, ko, ko, ko ensuring that given the opportunity you have, you guide them. For me, what gives me satisfaction is not that omwana ampani, okay? Because I've realized that uh in getting to, I'm responsible for this kid, namuleta monsi. I make my contribution. My contribution is to make sure that omwana no future ye obobulambobo maso ajabwe ya galidam, okay? So bwikubango kweyaga omwana ono kweyagala chitegeza ku kusanyukanga aline mama we my role is done okay we had in our contributing a lesson 
nenga that 90% contribution for me the aim is okulaba nti omwana ono ali happy so it's not that okulaba nti ali happy nange no omwana ali happy once the kid is happy then for me my 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 assignment is done uh they can move on they can enjoy whatever way they want i'm done so city china wo issue yo nti oh ate mama we go basinzo kwa galo bom omwana agambi what I sometimes I'm on the Zoom calls. Nandi le mtawa nuange. Nampa feedback. Naga abansi bula naga mbabai mami. You can imagine. We've been on a Zoom call. <laughs> call. Na yenga te ala andaba loza bada yo gerangani. In the end ne chumusi matu kana ampita mu mama. So which means there is that default. You know what that thing they tell us that. Ne wobo 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 weko. Na toga mba oh dad. Eh oga mama. You know there is that default. You know of, of a mother. So you cannot fight that. Tosobola kuchi, you know, kuteka ombere gama nchate. Oh, nze na prova katika mwa pia wada gama. Nze na providing ni omwana ya wana ta mama wenga. You know, there's something that we can't have no control over. Neka tinze, chene buli danti. As long as I play my role, omwana naba angali hape. That is it. For me, I'm done. Ibida nambide kira katonda. Na mutu alamu direction. Ja na mutu alamu. Nenga mple nze party yange. Yeah, you, I think my people are going to be, you do what you can. Well, well it's many different devices. Okufu, okufuba, is it okukola, you know, you know, but it, for me, it's the same. If you do what you can, if that is all you can do, okay? Biota sobola kola, tobi kola. Biyo sobolo kola, do it. Ne waluo, abantu ba sobolo kubera kone weba kola. Na yate ne batabi kola. So there's, there's that difference of, of, of also fathers. Asobolo mwano kumu tuwalako kusomero vana amu chari dako. Hea tina ata chari na gambi chuka nchile kire mama wachikole. Nenga ata bada asobolo funo vude na agena na amu chari dako kusomero. So, nengu wabanga at least min, that minimum you can do, you've been able to do as a, as a father. And those are your role, ebe ranga ujitu kiliza. So that's, that's what right. I... Tuyanze bumba. Aizaya. Wanjise. Kutibu gama nji... Umzadja si mzadde, umzadde we mama. Mm. Kandi kilao. Eee, yo, o, era, era kwenchi agamba. Era kwenchi agamba. Umzadja si mzadde. Umzadde ye mama. Ah, uh, ensonga ziri bidi. Esoka. Ah, uh, Echitongu leche nko lila chine duwa lido na hili ya wakazi. Tuza aza mwuri ingeri. Ate tuza aza na mwuri mtu wachizi. Chona. Nye mungkola za fezo kuza aza. Waluwe chibi inachi ya wakazi tuwa itaba sarogeti. Aba abeti kila abala lava na babwe. Mu ethics za fe. Ezimu kuzo enyingi. Tetukiri za surrogate kusindi kamuana wabandi. Hei, hey, mumurongo sa mumurongo si. Hei, hey, tumurongo sa mumurongo si. Tetumukiri za erenda gano jioko lae vila ya kurongo si wa uruva nyumaru emiezo muenda. Ne, emu kusonga luachi ya tuagala umusindi ke. Tuvela tutaso muana. Obu zade, no mtu watalimu zade we. Kakati keka ntu wako, bubu kaku gambi. Ntiniwe tuwe kona tuita mamu. Kati majuri tekufe basi ni kubu sindi si ijichecho. Kati mama ye muzade kwe yolevu. Mama ye muzade kuleve ndala. Eyobu de. Under normal circumstances. Aba ntubwa chagala ba mama ba wiruwa nsonga. Aba anaba nubi mula ba zari duwa mumurembe kwa mwe. Teba ina obu zade bo kawe ba ina neba zade ba we baba sindika. Newe ba maloku ba sindika ni baba tuwala mukinda gaten. Kakati. Aba anaba nubo nubo la ba lege sabi muita ba jienzi. Teba ina nyo socialization ina wazade bawe. Na yobu zade buo mkazo obulala. Nti amalo obu debu unji na habana. Kwa wanga, ejimu kumirimu jiaba chari mikuru. 
kutula waka kuzara bana na kubakuza na yabo mulembe guno munange bali mukukola so na ye ekichala munange e ekyo kye kifulu omukazi omuzadde nti ya sindi ko mwana ne bakola obuzadde ye no mwana awo yabera no mwana oyo na muyonka na muyonka nga muyimbira na muyonka nga mutunula mu maso ebyo byo nabyo nabikuru nga bo chugulira na yogera no rubuto nga bo olide mu kwana bwaga manti na yate kedobozi je ku rubuto na yo mukazi yasingo ko ogera no rubuto lwe ebyo byo nabyo nabikuru ebifuru omukazi omuzadde so nali ne simenye ku kigambo parent nga njagala nya abantu mutegere tipo tugamba parent omusajja mweyo yikwezo ni talimu na ye oro kubanga baagala abasajja bavunanyizibwe bwabo bwaba gamba abasajja ate baba ba addressing anga ba parent nze cyo cyenge agara okurwanyisa sibwe kiri temuli muka tu mu musajja ka parent temuli na yo musajja nabagamba ntiyo omusajja aina kubera involved mu bulamu bwabana ne mama wawe omukazi bwata kuwa mukisa kati mukama yebazi bwo twafuna sa technology wa dna na ye edda ngo omukazi ya kuwa omwana bwata mukuwa tataba uwo Nuru echo, nubu za domu kazi ya abu kuwa. Bubu wa zara mumu kazi. Na hata kuwa mukisa. Gwa, 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 gwa kupaform, gwa kupartisipate nga mubula mubu wa banabu, tojia kugufu na. O inzo kola, orada eche musimbi eche mui ito kufuba, chenzi kilizu ganya na cho, o inzo kufuba, Na yo mkazi, evi ntu vyo fubye esawa monana. O mkazi chimutuwa ili dachika kumi. Bio noku vyo zamu. Na hivu amala na avi nyueza. Bote bufuka tato murunji. Bote bufuka tato murunji. Na uruwecho. Abasajja. Bafuka abasajja. Nga bawele duo mkisa. Aba kaza uwebaza alamu. Chibi nyo ngori no omu kazi. Chibi nyo 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 ngaguwa zaramu muaya ukana. Evi gambo omu kazi vya gambo omwana. Gwe muaya ukana na ye. Ngevi gambo vya omu kazi avijia munaku. Eyo mkwano gwa mwogwafa. Omwano ya inengiri jakulaba. Buliroba suze njalanga netu wakaya mobile money ya ganyi. Tevera netu wakaya mobile money. Evera tata ya ganyo kutuwa iso haitu suze njala. Mbisi kariche chikati omukazi takuwa demu kisa. Okukuwa omukisa. Kwe kwe inviting abu likasera mula mbu wabana. One, two. Kwe kwe kisingo bukuru. Kwe kuko gere ranga mbula mbu wabana. O mkazi kasi tata yogera tata wabana. Na hata mchiki na mumitweji wabana. Mumbozi zibanyumia tata na averanga tajia. Oba na averanga jia na yenga jabubi. Bana bangetuwa nikize chino na tata wamamuzibu. Tata wamamuzibu. E, kwe vika mbevi obi ugira ngosa agirida. Habana tebabi sagisa. Kati, kati, kati tata wabana. Tomu wade mkisa kubira muzani. Era talibira. Nurucho, nurucho moderator. Chacho chena li simba ngamba gamba. Nti, aba anabanji. Aba muba kuru venka na angafi. Baina baya siku batata. Waliwe so ngaruachi, aba sadja bali miyake nkaga. Nga baina sente zaabu, nga baina nabana aba kuze. Waliwe so ngaruachi, bawa saba kaza aba ala aba tone, bawa saba kaza aba okubiri. Kubango msadja akula, nabela isolete di munyumba ye. Ngaba na bali ne mama wawe. Ni mnyumba, nga mzee ali mchisenga, umpugu mireyo. Nga bali wali mudiro, baku woru wali ne mama wawe, no kwepe na bepe. <laughs> Kakati olia inzo gamba, ti atata ya atafa, yeru wachari mchisenge. Mwajia mwati, ntiaze, nga basirika. 
Okusili koko, siku wanti ndo tata mukambu, wa psychologist wake na gamba, omanyiche kisenzi na kuungereje wa isa. Siku wanga tata ye isa uvinga mukambu. Okusili koko, environment yenu, e ina psychologia wayo kwa wako la kugwe. Mama te ya kuwa mukisa, kubela muzade wa abana vi. Nurechi abakazi, omukazi omugezi ye na. Awo omukiso omusajja gwazadde mu abana okubeera omuzadde ngamuwana mu matuga abana be okutusa nga mukazi wa kuwanyi mu matuga abana bo nga toliwo ekifananyi kigenda kusigala nga kiri bwe kitu kubanga omusajja si muzadde omusajja ali ebintu bino bisatu wa manga Ekisoka, omusajja ye provider ya reta vyo nevi yeta agu. Omukazi oba akola, oba takola. Echo tuti chituka kwa modoreta. Omusajja ya teko providinga. Kakati, abana, elacho vula mama bulika sera agamba, ata ina kalamu agenda agambe chitawe. Emboze ya mjuhuli leyo? Hmm. Yes, sebo, yes, sebo. Hey, kumango o, o, tata provider Gendo gambe dadi nitenga toza kutuse Gendo gambe dadi nitiba gambe chino Omwana leta kabanka siri punga taka la katu usiza Kabanka siri puka na haka school fees baka itabati Haka haka school fees Nga taka la katu usiza kumuza ya katu usiza kumama we Mamo ena amu gamba Kadimandi kati ka not Kati mamo ena amu gamba kati okampa kule chekatuwa lile chita au Provider Kukukwe mwuri mugu watari Na ye Tata wa providinga. Okweba za kugenda wa mama. <coughs> Kakati bufuna anjizi wa, 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 wa mama. O, o kukakasa nti okweba za kugenze wa tata. Na ye chiri, chiri na chokubana nti wakenda kweba za mama ne sukuru fizi. Gwe, gwe, okwata sente nozi uomu kazi mchisengi Agenda shopping ila abane ngoi Yena agenda na uomu katari Nibalonde ngoi nga ateka yo sinti Tulifena E chinane nyoche bakola Nga bako miyo mavogure ngoi Baga dadi daba yola Wema mikanguli de Onulimi muru ulira Kakati mm. osigande kuma Osigande kuma mchala Okugamba abana Ntisi dadi ye yampa desenti. Na yecho mkazi buwata chikola. Andi indida wa singa teba chikola. Mami ya vera aguzi. Awana jituba nenya. Katine. No, 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 no wabera ngoli provide waka. You are not even appreciated for that. Kumanga gotoli muzadi. Echo kubidi. Omusadi ya chari. E chila lo omusadi ya chari mumaka. Omusajja ye visionary wa maka wa career guidance because the man is a guide bine byonjo gere bisa tubiri waswe wa title yenga guide the man is a guide he's not a parent he's just a guide kakati ya teko guidinga mujukira 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 mukulonda combination mu high school yeah yeah aha mujukira nti watutu ukawa mukulonda zo combination mama ta participate nganyo Mm. Kakati yao Ateta atajia Mama ni waba ya soma Nga si single mother Tata ya kwa tamu bintu bino Njagalo okole chino Because he is a guide Era ya govera kari ya guide Yes simu zade ye guide Ujia kola chino Njagala tukole chino Chino chisobola Zino gredi tazizia kutu sakuche tuagala He's the visionary. Oh, oh, kati, oyo, oyo, oyo simu zade, ye gaidi. Na ya gaidi inga abandu, oru si bata ina na relationship, relationship peri aparentu hudu, mukazi woya ateko kuyamba, buwata kuyamba, owe de. Kofu botia, kofu, bionabi yonabi ofu bide, miaka kumina munana, mama wakenda kutula ni mutabani wabane mwala wo, akurukuse ziga kumuli isoli, muli isoli mu. Bionabi ofu bie, 
babisimu le moyo meeting eyo nga mama akukusize ziga ngayogera kutata woyo tebaje na kudamu kujukira kufuba koko na kuwafuba kicho kusatu musajja chali eri abana be umusajja teka he is the disciplinarian chovola bo kuvedda nedda ebintu byonabye twakolanga mama mwe wakuba mwakazali bwa fetu rude one ebintu byonabye twakolanga mama echintu kya emisana kya sibanga yogera leka kitamu akomewo abawulembe kwa abawulembe kwange mu kijukire echo mm yes ebo yes ebo nyo leka kitamu akomewo era esawa bweziti nga muzee amazo kunaba atudde kweli entebe je mumanyi yabera nge mu mudiru eta tuli wa mulala we bale nyo nga bataandiko okola roro koro awo kawo kawo osabira katonda mama wa kutasa kujje kulist kumanga embo egenda kukaba kakati le kambabuzi Ani kufari wanu, fabantu wabakuru wabari wanu, ayagala polisi. <laughs> Katichie chizibu chio msajja, kumsajja ye polisi ya maka. Tainza kwa agarua, ngabwe bagala, bapata na zini ini crime. Bamama, they apata na zini crime na abana babu. Batata bebala muziba amaka, beba polisi. But disciplinian, beba kwa sisa ama teka. Kakati binebi, ntuwe bila labi no, binebi olide revrani mkuwa na biyaba danyo nyola. Ebyo biya mwe biya murembe guno basajia mwa befura abakazi. Mwa fukila dalanga abakazi. Ebyo biya bintu, nsima ino teko kutu no uliza, I love you, I am going to tell you about Jesus. Ebyo tobi kore la mwano, ebyo kore la mkazi abakazi bebagala, okuwe rango liku mbuto za abu kwa atilida. Ebibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibib
alinebi tungu chinana kubulichikumi okufu ulomu zadi obo fubie oba tofubie gwele kankubuli de tozanyi so mkaza imira maso gaba na venga dalore medua ngole medua ngeleba teba mwana obujuri zintata ale medua na kaya nabona wakutela wa defense ntitale medua Echifana nyo mkazi chateka mubana. Echifana nyo chateka mubana. Buwebu zadebu. Buatari chiteka mu. Gwaku suna luganda. Chuvula. Bobu weba linyoku okwese chukula bila kecho. Omwa anavaku simu nga bada yogera ni daddy. Naga antikale bye mami. Kuwango wade bintu biyo yogera. Biyachi zade. Kata chitegeza wetaga nyo mami. Buli wabe la yogera na bo. A, 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 teke ya chifana nyicho. Tuza nyiso mzada agendo ukulabu omwana. Nga, 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 in fact, sina kumula wa kusome. No, no, okumutu wala kusome lo school fees, ngo mkazi ya zesasudu. Ebita obyo no mkazi ya abiguze. Na agenda kuvidi, ngeiro mkazi ya atade musendi. Na yewe vyo nabiyo na nagambu omwana. Nchi, tatao ya weleza zino sendi. Oyo mkazi haba akolaji. Akuma chiti wa shabawe. Azimba obu zade. Bwa tata. Era azimba tata mutima guomwani. Bakazi wa mekaba chikora. Kumanga abasajja tetu inabude bugenda kutula na bana tuzanyina bu. Teri yyo musajja avulina. Kuzino hase zitu tuwala. Hidache musavolo kola kuzanya video game. Mkulo zaacha wazungu baita video game. <laughs> Nenga... <laughs> <laughs> Na yunga vi, video game oro vero za nyano mwana. <laughs> Temu kendo kola. Omuzanda vande wana kugambia. Temu kama katunda yeba zibe kuluwa COVID. Buetali dida. E, COVID buetali dida. Ajie mirundi ya mekamu biasa. Kwa kama. Fabasajia no kutula kona habana. Fetuwe taa kutunga lida mayumba. <laughs> That, that's the problem. Kakati atomu kazi ya vera na buu. Noro wecho ebi tuvega hili de Nadala ebi o ino wana wange Bira ngonjo gira kuburu unji Nia anza moderate <laughs> Chinko ze uvi nye nikola sa Avude koku kore Dumare nyara nyara responi ngena ye Nanya nzo mchikiri da wano Mwa bobu Sa, Saate gede saidi Saba kuogera Saba kuogera kota Nale kampe pito mkisa Hmm Daikazi no mwazi <laughs> kusigazi. Mm. Uh, Abi ntuibidi bie ntegede mwemba dem please ranga ando zanga nefu mitiriza kumusu honga zima. Uh, obu zade buwa umu buwa ngo musajja obu buwa ngo obu atata. Butu deku bie ntuibidi. Echisoka mama uomwana. Echo kubiri, mama o mwana. Echo kani? <laughs> mama o mwana. Echo kubiri? Mama o mwana. Sabula tugende. <laughs> uh, Echo mkubi ngeenda nzula. O kwa gara mama o mwana. Dara dene nyo. Eri sobolo kutu usa kubuza debu o mwana. Nibili mwa kufuga pita. Wanji? Kwa gala mama o mwana na wibili mwa kufuga. Kufuga kwa tea gala kola. Anti, anti. Kuhige. Anti. Anti o, o kwa gala. Teba kukoo la kulina kubanga kwa aliwo. Kwa <laughs> aliwo savage. Kubanga. <laughs> Pita maliza wa mensonga ya. Mm. E, e, mbade ganti, okuwa gala kuina kubanga kwa liwo. Ne, ngateba, ngato kukani iki lida, umanyi jotu wabade tu higa. Tu wagami enti, boba omuntu wa mwa gala kubikolwa. Era no mchaira kubikolwa. Wegenda ya sebo, waba chaira ya chikolwa, chimwe chirunji, chojukira, to, to genda, temuwa ukana. Takati? Okuwa gala kwebikolwa. 
okoko kwa kufuba kwa nukwa ba sumba ba nikolasi ba nuba kuluba ange ba bobu abo abo ba 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 mama ange ba nanti akugabia kufuba okwa galanga kwa kukanika kwa makanika kwa galaji kati bobo ino kwa galo kwa galaji ogenda kubona abona nyo okubera tata wo mwana ensonge soka ndi maliriza ensonge yo kubiri echisa cha mama echisa <laughs> kan kwese muzikirize kwese chigambo grace the grace yes mama, the mama grace. Mm. yes the grace of the mother chovan ngami kwese ensonga bili esoka esoka mama wo mwana ensonga yo kubiri mama wo mwana katindi ku nsonga yo kubiri ya mama wo mwana esoka ebadde kwagala mama tata atandi kokolo bwa tata mu mwana aina kubanga ayagala nyina obanga yayagala nyina eyo kubiri mama nabera nechi sa grace sina mercy grace echi secho nachi kola atia Nabanga kubi abi kebio no no bio no musai gwe. Eh, mama fuse yeswa okati. Eh, nabi kebio no no bio no musai gwe. Nabuli kaser abi bika abi bika abi bika pak atia. <laughs> Kati bosanga mama anga playing a victim of the casero with the ngomu saja. Eh, hati kati ya, eh, eh, kati ya, eh, vio nono vya bata vika na musai gwe. Aba yevi ko musai gwe vio nono vuo. Nga gwe yevika. Nga tabika vivivyo. Kulilo, muka, mwela wa, mwela wa. Kakati, kakati, nga maliliza, nga maliliza sebo che, chino che ni mkugamba. Nti, buli kasera, Aba kuunjiri, mumutima guo, alinaka tuti kenjiri, uwaka tuti kakampeni mumutima guo mwana. Nga mufara asira, elanga akukutira akadingidi, mungeri zona. Ebi ebi bili bwebita bao. Oja kufuga tata mwusedako. Tuvala msiza nyumu kama hafi. Mwela nyo. Musule bulu unji. Mwela wa. Kujia kuda mungu thazide. Mkama wakume. Kale. Mwutitizo buli wano. Mweta agamu.